close till I get up. Hi guys, for today's video, I am going to show you how to recreate this easy, quick, natural makeup look. To start off, I am using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer and I am using the shade Medium Golden and I am just using it to kind of color correct, conceal my dark under eye area. It's not much that I gotta cover but I like to do this step when, you know, my under eyes look really, really dark. And then after that, I am going to use my favorite foundation of all time, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this is in the shade 4W1 uh, Honey Bronze. And I apply it all over the face and just pat it in, blend it in. Sometimes I like to apply it over the under eye concealer. On other days, I avoid the under eye area if I already applied concealer. Um, but I think in this time, I think I did apply it under the eyes. I don't recall, but do as you please. And then to kind of brighten up the area, the under eye area, I go in with the same concealer, but in a different shade. Uh, here I am using the shade light. And again, it's just to brighten up that area. And I don't take it all the way down. I just apply it to kind of that dark area that I have and I accidentally applied it to my little um, imperfections but because I thought it was the um, medium golden shade but whatever and I also use it on the lids as a base and then once I Blend that in to the eyelids. I seal it with the Laura Mercier concealer. And I also use this powder to set the foundation and the concealer on the rest of my face. I like to use the beauty sponge. And then for the rest of my face, I like to use the Smashbox. What is this called? Sheer Powder Brush. It is one of my favorites and I do have a video using my top favorite Smashbox um, makeup brushes. So if you're interested, hit uh, the link right here somewhere on the screen. All right, after powdering the rest of my face, I quickly went and did my eyebrows off camera. But here I'm back using the Hoola Bronzer with another one of my favorite brushes, the Smashbox, I don't know the name of it, but it's a blush brush. And I like to use it to apply the Hoola Bronzer and I also like to use it to apply my blush. Whatever's left on the brush, I apply it to my jawline and then very, very close to my hairline because I do have a very small forehead. So there it is. One of my favorite things to do when I am in a rush is that I like to use the Hoola Bronzer as an eyeshadow. And here I am using the Smith number 235 brush to apply the Hoola Bronzer all over the lid and kind of creating that V shape to kind of give that uplifting look in the eye without really giving much effort. I'm also going to apply the Hoola Bronzer to the lower lash line and I think this is a Chanel brush. I think it's a number 33. It's a very old brush but basically um, apply it to the lower lash line connecting it to the upper shadow you know to the lid to the shadow that you apply to the upper lid um, and then just blend 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 um, to kind of intensify the color. And then for the blush, I'm using my classic all-time uh, Chanel, what is this called? It's num number 99, Rose Patel, Rose Patali, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a Chanel, bru Chanel blush number 99 with one of my favorites, with my all-time favorite blush brush from the Smashbox collection. And you kind of want to apply it and blend it in with the bronzer. So blend, blend, apply, and blend, blend. I always have to curl my little lashes, whatever little lashes I have remaining. And I apply just a bit of the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. Um, nothing very intense. Again, it's a very natural, quick 
makeup look. All right, for the lipstick, I am using an ABH lipstick. It's my all-time favorite shade. I use it every single day, and I don't recall. I don't have the lipstick right here in front of me, but I will place the name down in the description box below. But again, I just kind of press it into my lips and then just blend it in with my fingers, and that gives you a very nice pouty look. And then I also like to go in with my Chanel lip liner and kind of define my lower uh, lip a little bit. To give my eyeshadow some type of dimension, I went in with the Too Faced and Natural Matte Palette and I used the shade Risqué and I applied it to the outer corner of the eye and I blended the shade into the crease using the smith number 230 brush um, i didn't apply much color because again i want to keep it natural daytime wearable look and that's pretty much it this is it for now i hope you guys liked the video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and share and until next time Close till I get up Time is barely on our side